Well, I think our membership will mobilize again. I, I know we will mobilize, mobilize again. In the last time, last November of 2014, it was really it was such an outpouring of support from the community. It was really a grassroots campaign. You know, unions were really active in the 1960s, in the 70s, and in the 80s. But, you know, we've been a little complacent. We've had great contracts over the years. You know, our forefathers, the retirees that were here today, were on three strikes in Jersey City. People went to jail for up to 30 days in old Hudson County Jail up on Newark Avenue, and that's why we have everything we have, but we have to fight to maintain it. And we also have to fight to maintain, try to search, you know, when the superintendent's term is up, we would like to see a new superintendent. We're not happy with her. JCA is not happy with Dr. Lyles. I think overall the community is not happy with Dr. Lyles. She doesn't, has not connected with the entire community. And we want a superintendent that really has their finger on the pulse of Jersey City, that knows where Bidwell Avenue is, knows what Jackson Avenue was and is today, what the needs are up on uh, Hancock Avenue at PS28 and 16 and 15 and 14, every single school. And it goes in cycles, you know, with the state takeovers. We have... Superintendents that are sent to us started in 1989 from the commissioner. Then the state always picks a local person. Then it goes back to a Richard DePatry that we had in 1998. That was my third year on the job. We had the massive strike right out here, the rally in Lincoln Park in November. And it's, it's cyclical. We have a state-appointed person handpicked from the governor's office. I think a year from now we'll be having a local person again uh, that's chosen by the Board of Ed uh, Hopefully someone that's from within the ranks of this school system or at least this county or this community.